You good? You yeah. starting? Uh, the big thing about when you're talking about the neurology is it, when we get the neurology quiet, we don't know what we don't know. That's the piece, and in, in, in the work, we're creating a contrast. Y your experience of having the neurology quiet can only be recognized how loud it is once we get it quiet. And that's where people are like, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm relaxed. I meditate, I, I stretch, I do yoga, I do whatever. But there's not an understanding of the relaxation that takes place in the neurology when you line up the physical positioning of comfort with that experience in the neurology where you create, it's a neutral. Mm -hmm. Neutral, and there, whenever the body holds tension, there is a vector, there is a direction, there is amount of pressure that we need to meet in order for the neurology to feel safe, supported, and listened to, to let go of that tension. It's so important. And without kind of fumbling through the process, without kind of going, well, I'm not really sure what I'm feeling. I'm not sure if this is right or this is not. And this, oh, I see what you mean. It's when we get the right spot. And at first, we're gonna go those four stages of competency. There's unconscious incompetence. We don't know what we don't know. It is, we have a lot of tension and we don't even realize we have a lot of tension. And then there's unconscious, or there's conscious incompetency, which is, we know we have a lot of tension, but we don't know how to let it go. And that's where a lot of people find themselves in kind of that second second level. And then there is conscious competency. So it's like, oh, I got that my back in a position of comfort, everything let go. But I'm not totally sure how I did it. <laughs> and this is where people go, oh, I got it. They come to one class, they experience it once, and it's like, oh, it's wonderful but they don't hone the skill mm -hmm. to make it unconscious competency. Mm -hmm. That's where we ultimately wanna push it, push this training, this skill, this development of fine tuning the neurology in a place where it's like, I don't even have to think about it when I'm talking to you and my knees start falling asleep, I'm gonna shift positions and I'm gonna get my knees to a place where it's not gonna cut off the circulation and then my feet are numb, or there's other components of it. You can do it while you're talking to people. You can do it while you're sitting in a car, standing in a grocery store. And you develop that unconscious competency to create comfort in your physical body so your radar system, your nervous system, your electrical system can go, uh, not, I need to move away from you. You're not, it's not good for me. I'm not resonating. We're not, what is the term? What coherence. 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 Mm. That's what we've been working on is the recognition of coherence. And we get caught into the verbal of, well, you did this and you did that. And I'm trying to explain on a level that there's a disconnect. And I don't need a friggin' reason why it's not in coherence. Mm -hmm. I just have to recognize it's not in coherence and just go, this is not resonating with me. And I can walk away from you, no guilt, no shame, no fear, it's good. Maybe we could reconnect in a little bit and it'll be different. It gives you do your work, I'll do my work, and then see if it, if it, um, sinks up mm -hmm. we don't need a reason but if we're denying this in ourselves if we aren't giving ourselves permission to feel these these signals these cues from the neurology how my stomach tightens up when i talk to this person or i stand over there or i sit in this vehicle there was something with a electronic hybrid 
something it had some sort of electrical field that was putting off that it was like I felt sick in it and I was like no I can't I can't ride in this truck or car and when we ignore those signals that our neurology is putting off that is giving us these things women tend to do tend to pick up on the information more so but they also tend to deny their experience more so. So it's like, how can we use that information and immediately implement it on an unconscious, competent level?